daily uploads throughout my entire summer break over 70 videos and I'd estimate about seven hours of content give or take this has been the most busiest summer of my life and I don't even have a job I can't even keep track of all the things I went on or everyone I hung out with even if I wasn't uploading daily it would still have been busier than usual for me turns out I'm a popular person though what can I say don't get me wrong though I had a blast this summer has been amazing but like speaking in regards to uploading daily made it more difficult. There was only a few weeks of school left when I decided I was gonna upload daily over the summer. Some of you might be thinking, uploading daily may seem absurd, but I didn't really see it as much of a problem. I was already good at making videos fast, and honestly with my channel I was gonna need more videos to keep up with all the different series I do on this channel. And I figured I would pretty much have nothing to do over the summer. I was pretty dumb for thinking that. So before the daily uploads started, I was preparing by making many, many videos so I can be ahead. My mindset is if I could constantly have about a week's worth of videos scheduled and then just continue making more, I would always be safe in case something comes up and I couldn't work on videos for a few days. And just a few weeks into daily uploads already, I had to really put this plan to the test because I was going on a week-long vacation, which was very fun by the way. And keep in mind it was only a few days prior when I even know I was going on this vacation. I managed to get enough videos scheduled up until about three days after I was home from vacation, which at this moment during daily uploads was a bit of a concern. I mean, having only three videos planned rather than seven or eight wasn't an emergency, but it was starting to get a bit worrying. After the vacation was when things started getting pretty tricky. And when I say tricky, I mean busy as heck for me with a lot of stuff to do. There's many times where I was overnight at someone's house or out doing something with a friend for a day that made daily uploading harder, but I couldn't miss out on having all that fun, so I just had to power through it. I remember I told myself that whether I end up getting a video out every day or not, I still need to have fun and make the most of this summer. But about halfway through daily uploading, I was having a lot of fun, but I was getting more and more demotivated to do daily uploads every day. It eventually got to the point where I would have only one or sometimes even no videos scheduled ahead of time. That means making and uploading one video each day after another while being at the verge of failing my daily uploading challenge at any moment. And yes, that is also the reason why you haven't seen many back to school since the 3rd of June. I was putting little to no effort into my videos and just quickly getting them over with just for the satisfaction at the end of this to say that I've been uploading every day. I was aware of my demotivation. I did not at all want to take that on my back to schools, which I care about the most. I would not do that to my baby. But with about two weeks left until school starts, I got the motivation I needed from what is now my most favorite comment I've ever received on my channel. Somebody actually recognized me and noticed me for my hard work. In fact, even later, multiple people do. I'm actually getting somewhere, which I haven't felt since pretty much the beginning of my channel and the start of back to school. Listen, I don't know if any of you guys who've made those comments are watching this right now, but thank you so much for that comment. Mostly this one. I have never gotten a comment like this prior and it's nice that someone finally recognized all the hard work I put into this stupid channel. Anyways, I took a device about tags and that definitely showed some difference in my videos and this really brought me your motivation. A lot of motivation. I had even more motivation at this time than I did back when I was preparing for this in May. I even started uploading twice a day instead of once. Unfortunately, I had to stop with the double uploads though because I was getting behind again and I had to get ready to make this video, but it was still worth mentioning. That's pretty much the story of how the experience went. Now about the statistics. <laughs> At the beginning of this, I had about 200 plus videos and 83 subscribers and I've been doing YouTube for about two years. Using that logic, I figured with uploading around 60 videos within two months would really get somewhere and perhaps even get me to that big 100 subscribers as I've wanted for a while now. You would really think with around 60 entire new videos posted at a consistent pace that at least like 15 people would enjoy them enough to subscribe. About two or three weeks ago from now, I have gained a total of, wait for it, four subscribers. 
<laughs> this was totally worth it. But actually though, ever since I've been using tags, I've gained about like six subscribers, which is actually a lot for me in two weeks. So thanks for that advice. I'm getting somewhere. Don't get me wrong. I am grateful for every subscriber I get. It is a very slow pace, but can I just mention real quick how underrated I am? I do more work than so many people out there. I can edit and make every thumbnail myself. And then there's just random people out there who upload like a 10 second clip from a game and then get like a thousand views for literally no reason other than the fact that the YouTube algorithm is very flawed and can't find people who actually put effort in making videos. Do you know how annoying it is when somebody just comes up to me? And yes, this happened. It just goes like, yeah, I, I, I got this video that has like 7,000 views and I have over 100 subscribers. And then it's just like the stupidest video ever. I'm sure you don't even know how to make a thumbnail, let alone edit a video good. And like the 60 videos, which are like four times that length of some of them. <sighs> Doesn't matter. This is my hobby, not a job. I don't have a job. But really though, at the moment, I'm just having fun. I'm glad I've had all this time to do this. Really, I have no regret. But now is the big question. Will I do this again? Let me say this again. I love making videos. Even when I wasn't uploading daily, I would still try to get videos out as fast as I could. But the difference with that is that I didn't force myself. I could really focus on the video rather than just rushing it and start working on the next one. I don't think I will ever challenge myself like this again, and here is exactly why. The exact reason is because of that phase about a month in of demotivation. The videos at the time, in my opinion, were rushed and low quality. Now I am proud of my work, and something like that which requires minimum effort for me might be the best thing for someone else, but that just isn't me. The minimum splices and cuts with the occasional zooming in or zooming out is not what I want my videos to be like. In some cases, it works, but not at all in others. I'm afraid if I continue to challenge myself like this, I might get in an even more extreme phase of demotivation, but I may never receive a comment like that, this, or even that to help me recover from it. I'm afraid if I make deadlines for my videos and set certain standards for my videos, it will go back to the way it was early July when I was at my lowest. I normally like editing, which may seem surprising to some people, but I have to admit that at many times during this challenge, I did not like editing. And I do not want that to happen again, because I love editing. Originally, this video was gonna be uploaded the day after summer vacation, but now I'm about like maybe a week in. I don't know, this is just a voiceover. And I'd like to say, I'm not gonna rush my video. There might not be a new video tomorrow after this is posted, or the next day, or even the next week. Probably not a week though, it's just a Mario Kart video next. The reason why this took so long is I'm currently giving myself a flippin' break. Which seems ironic saying that I just got done with my summer break and am now starting school. But I think I'll have more of a break going to school and not uploading for a week rather than uploading all the time. I'm going to lay it back away from YouTube for a while and when I am more than ready, I will come back and try to get those last four episodes of Back to School out as quickly as I can, while having videos in between, of course. After being gone for a while, and just kind of taking it light, I think coming back in on like editing Back to School will give me that uh, working hard on a video feeling again, so I can get back to putting effort in my videos, and getting rid of that bad habit of rushing through the editing process in a video. See you in a few days, a week, whenever I'm ready. Goodbye. <laughs> so good. <laughs>